Hi, uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, how uh, training data uh, for the autonomous driving is really uh, collected and after that what tools uh, and SDKs uh, are available for us to visualize that data. So most of these uh, toolkits uh, data sets uh, in this presentations are open source. Uh, which you could download it uh, you can try on your machine and uh, most of the information in this presentation uh, you could actually try it on your machine <clears throat> uh, very quick uh, here is a landscape where the top 20 autonomous driving companies are uh, we, we're gonna go back to our main thing which is uh, data collection and the data visualization so here is uh, uh, just a process uh, where you could understand that how the data collection for the autonomous driving is really uh, being set up. So here you could see that these various components such as LiDAR, camera, uh, sensors, GPS, and if there are others, uh, all those streams are really being collected. And uh, after the collection, data collection is really being done, the aggregation uh, process uh, runs and which really composite the data in a way that they, the various information uh, from raw data can be transformed into much more uh, informed data such as vehicle operation or tracklets or lidar points which can generate a 3d world uh, around the uh, car the camera images depending on how many cameras are in that uh, data set collection car that number of images will be available and the gps coordinates uh, when uh, when the car is really running so that data can be used and 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 uh, rendered over the map so once uh, the data is available uh, that training subsystem really kicked in uh, learn from data build a machine learning model and then those models are really being used in real time application to make decision around it and those decisions are really being applied to the uh, car sensors and other infrastructure to really apply and then take decision here is an example of uh, the the new scenes uh, organization how they really uh, set up their car to collect this data set you can follow the uh, link if you want to learn more about it uh, here uh, we are looking into uh, a process where the data is really being uh, after data is collected how the data can be packaged in a way that can be used in various uh, open source uh, data set visualization subsystem here we have two uh, examples so one is uh, from uber avs uh, which really uses something called XWIS a package to render the data and the second one is a is a tool called a open source tool called webwiz which is from cruise where you can actually drop the ros baggage file ros stands for robotic operating system and you can compile the it's a, uh, a, the autonomous uh, data set in a ros baggage file and using uh, that cruise webwiz tool you could visualize the data we'll be looking into the both of these tools uh, in this example various autonomous driving uh, data sets these are all publicly available data set rather than putting link here i gave you information so you can walk through uh, you can just search around in the web and you will have uh, opportunity to download download almost all of this data currently i have about um, almost five terabyte data in in compressed format with me and when i unzip it and i try to process it i have uh, currently about 10 terabyte data sitting in my machine which i'm really processing and learning more about autonomous driving and and various other things in that space data set annotation uh, mostly for image annotation we have bounding boxes a polygonal segmentation a line annotation a landmarks uh, you know depending on road roadside and various uh, others uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, we have 3d cuboids uh, semantic segmentation uh, and uh, you know that's also include pixel wise uh, segmentation i would rather than me explain those things uh, i would suggest you uh, look these uh, terminology search over web and learn the best possible way you could really learn about it if we look into the data set annotation uh, within the image uh, as, as we see uh, we, we have various groups there you know in terms of a flat group uh, mostly like the such as road sidewalk parking rail track could be in in that area humans person rider uh, you know the baby in a stroller 
the the guy in wheelchair uh, could be variety of other things could come in that area uh, vehicles a variety of vehicles which, which we could find on on the road such as car trucks buses etc okay construction uh, category where you know building wall fence guardrail braze tunnel uh, that's and even uh, you know these signs are also there is a whole separate class for that uh, various objects uh, here that's why you could see traffic sign traffic light different pole group up uh, okay then uh, the I would say the trash cans uh, in areas such as uh, North America we have uh, we have uh, newspaper boxes they all comes in that area then we have a nature vegetation terrain uh, what really cars see while driving and it's all depend on which uh, where the data is really being collected so you could see a lot more lot more nature objects over there is sky and then finally you know ground dynamic and static other kinds of so this is very important to understand how much uh, information you are really adding uh, in your data set which can be visualized okay next once you have uh, all that data available uh, there are a couple of ways you could uh, create a composite data uh, there is a ROS bag files and which is used by cruise web tool and there is a new scene data set format which you could also look into the new scene data set format as, as well as the x page so if you look into the uh, new scene data set information we could actually see here that how the data set so here is the information about a uh, new, uh, uh, new scene data set and a uh, lot more information about that uh, data set uh, okay here is uh, I think the data database schema so if you look into the variety of information what we, uh, new scene really has and if you are looking into the x phase then x phase should be defined here so here you could see the x phase which is a protocol for real-time transfer and visualization of autonomous data uh, again uh, as you see here various sensor metrics and actions are really being added into and then fed into the XWIS I have that XWIS system running locally on my machine and the, the, it, it currently uh, running a, the example you could see has the uh, you know the kit KITTI which is kitty data set as well as uh, it also has the new machine uh, open op, open source data set publicly available which you could uh, you know sign up and request to download once we have uh, the data set uh, format we could, here is a couple of uh, SDKs and tools information which you could try so here we have the uh, the new scene uh, the SDK which is available a lift what they have done is that they have forked the new scene uh, dev kit uh, and then they added more uh, code to it which really helps to take the lift data set and and may, may make it to the new scene compatible uh, if you are learning more if you really want to try uber x uh, here is a link for that as well as the rose ross bag so you could uh, again download try and you know look around documentation how to apply it we will jump directly to the environment visualization uh, we will be using uber avs which use underneath xviz and then we will be using a cruise web page, which using uh, which is using the ros bag files so let's go directly jump into the do uh, the document uh, documentation as well as the visualization part so here you could see that let's uh, take a look into the uh, uber uh, avs so uber avs uh, the url is available here you could see that uh, uber avs is this version is currently running the k kitty data, data set as well as the new tommy which is from new scenes data sets available if you have that data set and available and then you could convert transform them into the xvis format here you see the xvis format uh, this data is translated then very quickly you could load from uh, from your local disk or where the data is available to the xvis uh, avs platform and you could see it uh, log you could see more of the information uh, you see that is using the AK kitty data set if you are looking in, into the new Tommy it's good really going to tell you that okay this is uh, the new scenes data set okay <coughs> uh, from there so these are the information which you could uh, input as a data set here you could see that what else uh, you could see 
uh, here is the, the information about the Newtomi data set does not have it versus the Kitty data set. It also has the information about the wheel, uh, the movement, left and right acceleration, as well as the speed, current speed. Here you could see the stream, which is the various informations are available within the in, uh, data set. So here you could see the uh, vehicle related information, different tracklets available, as well as the LiDAR uh, world and the uh, the uh, the camera input so here you could see there are two camera inputs are available okay data set is loaded it's about 15 uh, second data set uh, uh, we have loaded based on here and then uh, once we will uh, run this data set let's run it here you could see in real time uh, various uh, landmarks are visible uh, here you could see the vehicle uh, if we hide it you could see that okay based on vehicle information is really added to it acceleration which you could see here at the bottom if you are looking into the velocity uh, velocity is visible or not wheel angles are visible so these are the more of uh, okay uh, here you could see the worth the trajectory of this uh, vehicle where it is really going so this is like more of a vehicle related information which is collected from various sensor here you could see the tracklets if you look into the tracklets with okay and here visualizing them and non visualizing them you could see Objects are visible are uh, different tracking points. You could see the tracking points are visible or not the labels Which really talks about okay, what available? Uh, what kind of objects are available on the street? Uh, their trajectory here. You could see the trajectory is really being defined and finally the Objects and their features so you could see here the labels are also av av available uh, depending on that okay, so for that reason so labels and then the types whether it's a pedestrian it's a car uh, okay and then the bounding box are also around it lidar uh, all the lidar world is really available here you could see lidar world uh, if you really do not want to see or you want to see that is also available finally the images you could see that which images are visible which images are not so you could see here now when we are watching this world we have ability to see the uh, different views of camera here you could see that we have the top down view for the same world which is uh, loaded and again remember this is a uh, this is a kitty data set so we are looking into the kitty data set where the visualization is built from uh, available from top view or we can have the perspective view which we are looking just behind the car how the car is really uh, and then at this real time you could even match the bicyclist is here and very quickly you can see the bicyclist is still there a pedestrian it was there so those things are uh, you could really see that how your car is really uh, how the data is really being uh, rendered in real time once we took here you know you have ability to uh, zoom in so for example if you want to zoom in zoom out you can also use that uh, you want to centralize all that information you could do center that way a very good uh, visualization tool uh, and it has a, a lot more capability depending on information you will enter here so if we look into data set and we will change from kitty to a new scene data set as soon as we load this data and the data set is about 18 second data here uh, we will let it load and once the data set view is really being loaded we can look into the stream here you could see everything is very different now it has a lot more data points so within the vehicle we have the different data points available related, related with vehicle labels we have humans uh, if there is availability so you could see adult child even wheelchair stroller uh, you know personal mobility and movable objects we have here so again this is all about the classes uh, which is which are available in uh, within the data set uh, tracking point trajectory futures and the lidar data set and finally the uh, camera so there is a, a one uh, image available which is a frontal camera once this 18 second data set is loaded we will run it okay let's try to run it now you could see here that okay how this and we can actually make it more more zoom we will try to send centralize it okay we will, we will try to make it more more center so we could see more more close view okay here you could see that how there is again so <clears throat> if we, we could see here various state okay but it could be there's a car okay that looks like a person yeah no. 
label look into okay it looks like a human okay so once you, you you can actually pause at any given time and then if you want to really see okay so this is type adult here you could okay here you could see this is a vehicle okay here you could see again vehicle here what it could be it's a traffic cone if it is traffic cone here looks like here but this will more 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 of a fire hydrant if uh, but again maybe the images are not exactly this is uh, human adult a uh, lot more is coming uh, adult construction looks like this is a more of construction so here is construction and here you could see these are the barrier so looks like these are the barriers are identified so here you could see these various barriers and again this is a construction worker construction worker so we could we could see that way so again uh, the objective was for us to really look in load the data sets uh, with XWIS and uh, understand the capabilities of XWIS. We have seen it. Now we will jump. Uh, these are the charts depending on if you are getting the uh, vehicle data, which we are we are really getting in the uh, Kitty data sets. Here you could see. Now I will jump to second one, which is uh, the WebWIS. If you are interested in WebWiz, what you could do is that you could go to Cruise uh, WebWiz, where this uh, open source uh, GitHub repo is available. And here you could see the WebWiz. If you look into the WebWiz, that's where you uh, you really see that the how it's using Worldview. And within the WebWiz, you have ability to really look into. If you want to try something, you can just click here. It's really going to open the webways ui and if you are running locally you can actually drop a ros bag file here and it really opens up a, a, a panel to accept the file and then the once file is uploaded then it's really available for a web view to render it here we are looking into a demo which already had a ros a bag a file available here and this is about and uh, let's we could run it here uh, one good thing is that we really have the speed available we could really run the uh, original speed here you could see the uh, lidar data available if you want to look into the more information about the data so you could see this is radar uh, radar okay and valentine <coughs> here again something similar uh, you could really point the various data points are available uh, which is actually here in this layer so you could see here that what you really want to render you can say I really want to say this and both points are available again so that's another uh, more information about here you could see the various uh, log related information while the in real time so while the frames are really being rendered a relative information with regard to that frame is really being being added here so that's uh, information we really have again uh, you could really change the orientation uh, more of is so this is uh, the example of web view versus uh, we were really looked into the xvis so that's all i really have to show you the plan i had is that uh, for you to uh, get 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 you started you could download the data set if that is what you want to try and the you can download the data sets toolkits stk and the frameworks and then you can uh, run them into your machine in my next uh, presentation um, my target is to show you how you could run axways uh, uber avs locally and then using the original kitty data set you could really transform that data set uh, to the XWIS uh, protocol format and then you can really load everything locally and run it. That would be my next for now. Uh, let's complete this thing and I hope uh, you have learned something. Thank you.